Welcome back, everybody. This is going to be our Algebra Foundations for Algebra 2, Lesson 2, Function Notation, Homework Review, Part 2. We're starting with question number, it should be question number 3, actually, so we'll start from there. We'll get to question 4 later. Uh, based on the graph of the function y equals g of x shown below, answer the following questions. Evaluate g of 2. Okay, so well, here's the thing. g of 2 means what is the y, value of y when x equals neg 2? So let's take a look. So g of neg 2. Well, let's take a look here. So g of neg 2, when x is neg 2, y value, well, that's a dot right here, actually. y value looks like it's going to be neg 3. So when we see this, what they're really looking for is the y value. Oh, it makes it a little neater. g of neg 2 is equal to neg 3. All right. So again, whenever they give you the function of the number, that means you're looking for the value of the y value when x is a number plugged in. So the matching coordinate would be neg 2 comma neg 3 on the graph. So g of 0. Okay, well, let's take a look here. g of 0 is going to be this point here when x equals 0. That's also going to be neg 3. So we'll have in this case g of 0 equals neg 3. So another point in the graph would be 0 comma 3. So interpretation of f of a number, f, uh, g of a number, h of a number, that means what is the value of y when x is a particular number in parentheses? Let's continue. So we're going to go with g of 3 now. So g of 3. So g of 3, well, let's see now. x is 1, 2, 3. We see the x is 3, because this is 3 here. The y value looks like 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's 4. So that corresponds to the coordinate 3, comma 4. And finally, we're going to look at g of 7. g of 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Just want to make sure this is where x equals 7, the matching y value is 0. So the matching coordinate would be 7, 0. Okay, so the key thing is to keep in mind that when, we've, when we're given a question like this, as you're looking at the graph, we're looking for the matching y value of the function. So now it says here, what values of x solve for the equation g of x equals 0. Well, one way to look at it is this, is we can draw a horizontal line for when y equals 0. So let's see now. We get a horizontal line here. I'm going to use this uh, pink line. Okay. So y equals 0 is this going to be right here. Okay. I'm going to bring it down a little bit here. A little bit. Grab that here. Bring it down. Okay. Right there. And so we see <clears throat> that there are going to be four times where the graph crosses the x-axis, or y equals 0. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So what values of x? Well, the first value of x would be when x is equal to negative 3. The second one, when x equals positive 1. The third one, when x equals 5. And the last one, when x equals 7, matching up with, with the question we found in part A. So, again, here, the funny thing is that when they say g of x equals 0, here you're looking for the matching x values for a particular y value. So the coordinates would be, in this case, neg 3, comma, 0. Oops, not here. Instead, here, 1, comma, 0. 5 comma 0 and then 7 comma 0. Okay. For part C, graph the horizontal line y equals 2 on the grid above. All right, so we're going to graph the line y equals 2. Let's see now. y equals 2. I'm going to use, a, how about we use a dotted line here? Just a dotted line. So y equals 2 is going to be a horizontal line where the graph crosses. Oops. Let me the back okay all right i'm gonna graph this now y is equal to two let's try now 
Here we go. I'll extend a little bit. Goes, you know, extend this line a little bit here. Okay, so this is when y is equal to 2. Uh, right there, okay. So we'll graph this. This is y equals 2. Now I'll label that there. y is equal to 2. So on that line, every single point has the value of y equal to 2. So how many values of y solve the equation g of x equals 2? Now we're not looking for the values of x, just how many of them are there. So how about I use the, uh, let's see what color I haven't used yet. Um, I'm going to use the yellow. Okay, so we see one point here, two point here, three points here, and four points here. And so how many values of x? Well, we're going to say in this case, four values. And we found them. We circled them on that, where the line y equals 2 crosses the graph. Okay, this full page, take a look. Okay, so this is question number three. And so in being able to interpret a graph in the questions is really important. When they ask you for the function of a number, that means you're looking for the y value for the given x value. When they say, what is the value of x for when the function g of x equals a particular number, what you can do is draw a horizontal line on y equals that number. For part b, we had drawn a horizontal line for y equals 0. And then we found out where the graph crosses and that, that worked out. And then we had, in this case, part C, we drew a horizontal line y equals 2, and we saw how many points, how many times, the horizontal line y equals 2 had intersected for, with, the, with the equation equation g of x. And so here we can figure out how many values. I mean, there'll come a time where we use a graphing calculator to help us with 2 uh, when we're given the function null, okay? Now for the next part, question 4, which we saw before, okay? And in this case, um, e invested, ooh, let me make it smaller, make a full page. E invested $2,500 in an investment vehicle that is guaranteed to earn 4,000, 4% interest compounded, compounded yearly. Now, investment vehicle just means in this case, maybe a stock, a bond, or some type of investment that is going to guarantee 4% interest compounded yearly, meaning every year, when this very important word compounded, because then ladies and gentlemen, it's a very important thing about investing money. And when you're young, you can use time to actually earn you more money. So in this case, um, Ian's going to invest $4,500. Uh, $2, He's at 4% after the first year. And the next year, he keeps it in there. He gets not 4% of 2500 but 4% of 2500 times the, plus the extra 4% uh, he made. So he's making interest on top of interest. So they call it compounding, put on top of the other. So, so the amount of money A in this count as a function number of years, T, creates, uh, since creating the count, is given by the equation A of T equals 2,500 times 1.04 raised the T power. So we're going to first find A of 0. So A of 0 is equal to 2,500 times 1.04 to the zero power. Now, any number of zero power we know is equal to one. Multiplying this, you can get 2,500. So that's how much we're going to have at the beginning when A zero means in the zero year, how much is it worth? Well, it's just the amount we put in. Well, for the second one, A of 10 is equal to 2,500 times 1.04 raised to the 10th power. Here we're going to break out a calculator. Okay, so let's break out our calculator here. Ooh, let's uh, clear this, this is from before. So we have a value of 2,500 times 1.04, close parenthesis, raised to the power of 10. And we find our value should be $3,700.61. So that's how much, now you have the extra cents there, but you know, they're not going to break up pennies for you in, in the fraction. So we have $3,700.61. So $3,700.61. Just want to make sure, because sometimes I write the wrong thing. Yep, that looks good. Okay. All right. Didn't say to round off to the nearest penny or whatever. I usually round to the nearest penny, because you know what? 
those pennies add up adults so just to let you guys know you know when you're when you're saving money all right so what do the two values that you found in a part a represent okay so in this case we'll say the following a of zero represents how much money in the investment vehicle oops, vehicle vehicle at year zero or at the beginning okay now that means this case how much is off with because year zero is a start time now if that's the case then a 10 represents well how much money oh, my spelling is terrible sorry guys how much money in the how much money is in oh should be is how much money in should be is in the investment vehicle how much money the investment vehicle is worth after 10 years okay and that's interpretation so we can we can in this case find out the value in this case so okay now for part c all right so a of 10 and a whatever based upon the interpretation of the question here they tell us t is years since creating the account so that's how much money in the account really the account will have three thousand seven dollars and sixty one cents after ten years now it says creating tables in your account determine to nearest whole year the value t that solves the equation a of t equals five thousand okay so justify your number the answer with numerical evidence okay so we're going to take a calculator okay we'll use a table here so all right so here we go I'm going to clear this i'm going to y equals i'm going to clear this too so we start off with 2,500. We're using table. We're going to type in our, our formula or function here. 1.04, close parenthesis, raised to the x power. We can use t, but you know, with x is a variable in this case. So now, second table. We're looking for a value in this case. We're going to scroll down. Scroll, scroll down until we see 5,000. Okay, so. Let's take a look. Okay. It looks like somewhere, it looks close to year 18. You'll notice that at year 17, we have $4,869.80, while in year 18, we have $5,064.50. So we're going to say in this case, year 18. So you guys take a look at that. See that? Year 18. Okay. And we're going to say, oops, right here. All right. In year 18, the account will have $5,000. Okay. In this case, really, it was 5000 I think it was $5,064. And uh, let's double check to make sure. $64 and looks like point, and point 0.5. Okay. So after 18 years, so really after 18 years, 18 years in the account. Okay. Now, what does the value of T that you found part C represent about Ian's investment? It is going to be how many years, okay? It will be how many years he can he will he will need to reach five thousand dollars okay ladies and gentlemen thanks so much for watching this is the end of part two i'll see you in part three okay please like the video if you found it helpful all right i'll see you in part three take care be safe